The mission of all Salvatorians is to bring the good news of the Gospels and thus keeping alive the love of God in our world today. This action is no more easier now than it was in the time when Blessed Francis Jordan was alive. A slight difference, however, is that today we have learnt to understand the meaning of Salvatorian universality in a different and hopefully more practical way than it was understood in the second half of the 19th century. Salvatorian universality as we understand it to be for the 21st century has the meaning of all Salvatorians having the same understanding and interest in doing things together for the good of all. The world we live in today faces many challenges that were not as pronounced in the past. Among these challenges that people around the world are trying to better understand is that of climate change, which is evident in rising sea levels, increasing severe weather events such as increased rainfall, unprecedented drought periods, forest fires, floods, tropical storms, tornadoes or rapidly melting polar ice caps, and so forth. With our better understanding of what Salvatorian universality can do to share our knowledge with people around the world, we now understand that messages of care and love for our planet Earth should help give everyone practical and clear directions before it is too late to reverse climate change. There are many ways to share this message, simply by giving the issue the attention it so desperately needs. If we understand that the earth with its goods and wonders on which we live is for everyone and not just for those who want to make a profit from it, we may become more aware of our Salvatorian mission the ruthless exploitation of natural resources and the use of displaced and disenfranchised workers might, and hopefully, take on a whole different meaning. So might the related migratory movement through loss of home and local livelihood. Blessed Francis Jordan said once, As long as there is one person on earth who does not know God and does not love him above all things, you dare not allow yourself a moment's rest. This quote we have to interpret today as meaning. As long as there is one person on earth who is not able to drink clear water, breathe clean air, who is suffering from hunger and does not have minimal medical and social care, you dare not allow yourself a moment's rest. You cannot tell someone something about the kindness and glory of God if you haven't solved its basic needs for survival. Therefore, as lay Salvatorians, we cannot and must not close our eyes to this. And we are invited to find answers to these questions and challenges and those of our fellow human beings. It is not a matter of great action, deeds and successes. Rather, we should be guided by the words of Father Otto Hoffenmuller, SDS, who says, We should see the hand of God, even in small things, since no sparrow falls from the roof without the will of the Heavenly Father. So here too, we can follow our respective missionary paths with full confidence. A sufficient general education and open-mindedness towards the world and its developments are the basic requirements needed to understand and apply Salvatorian universality as a creative tool of evangelization. It helps to bring God's word to the people in a modern language a language adapted to the situation that can be understood and accepted 
by all.